Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2015, where we are playing the uh, Pro Cyclist mode, and we are in the end of the Tour de France. And I have some points to get. There's going to have, there's going to be something happening this race. Rejoice, everybody! We're the third best classified rider in the general classification. On our fin. It's always a catch. Right, so I wonder. It's pretty much downhill until the intermediate sprint, pretty much. There's some fat areas and maybe just a tad bit uphill, but. If I'm even ahead of the peloton. I'm Hello the and welcome back. Stage 20 and the final day in the mountains looks to be clone of the 19th stage in 2011. The 110 kilometer route starts with the descent from Modan to the Arc River, from where the riders begin the 11.9 kilometer climb towards the Col de Telegraph. At the top, it's a five kilometer drop into Valois for the second challenge of the day. The 17.7 kilometer slopes of the Col de Galibier. At 6.9%, they average out at slightly less than the 7.1% of the telegraph. The Galibier is followed by a non technical 45 kilometer descent into Bourg d'Oison for the final showdown on the hairpin bends up to Alpe d'Huez. 13.8 kilometers at 8.1%. That will bring the curtain down on this year's tour notwithstanding tomorrow's final bow on the Champs-Élysées. Well, I got sprint. Well, I could be ahead of the third time, so that's not going to be a surprise. So I should probably have been further ahead if I could divide that jump and break it. Yeah, I'm not going to survive in that situation. I probably did go in the ultimate sprint. And yes, I'm trying to minimize the time losses I get because I really would love to have top 50, even though it doesn't really matter. So I'm trying to get there. Did I just did I just run over a guy? Only 15 kilometers left. Tarski fell. Of course it did. It doesn't work too well. Now for the race highlights. Quintana won. What a surprise. Yeah, I dropped. But 
there's a lot of oh, lots of other guys like Kittle, Greipel. So we only 142 left. We got seven points, so yeah. That's not good for me. Uh, not ideal, I should say. Anywho, I should get level 19 after this stage coming up. Hopefully there's no intermediate sprint, so that I uh, only have to worry about getting a good result in the sprint. Finish, of course, there's an intermediate sprint. Strategy, no. No, where is it? I can't check this in the game, but damn it. Am I on this favorite list? No. So there's an intermediate sprint. And the sprint finish. I might lose it on the last day. I am desperate for points, basically. Maybe if I got to do the twenty of that one stage. I didn't get anything. That would probably have secured it, but welcome back. After four tiring and decisive days in the Alps, the Peloton has made an overnight leap of 500 kilometers northwest into the suburbs of Paris. The 21st and final stage of this year's tour begins in Sèvres, no more than 8.5 kilometers from the finishing line. However, the riders will not be following the route of the Crow. No, their 107 kilometer itinerary resembles the leisurely peregrinations of a sightseer. Leisurely, that is, until the Champs-Élysées is reached and the circuits begin. Thereafter, it should be fruitless attack after fruitless attack until the sprinters and their teams rein in the unruly pretenders to the most prestigious of stage victories. Counter-attack by Simon. And he sprints away in attack! I really need to be there The pace is really hot, so for the moment, we shouldn't see too many attacks. The pack is increasing its work rate. Some teams can't be happy with the breakaway. We're already at the halfway stage.
may not have to your sleep to save your day. But I would just love it to stay for them. Those yet, so. There are just 15 kilometers left. The riders have upped the pace. The riders are entering the last 10 kilometers of the stage. Fall in the pack! Apparently, the leader is on the ground. The riders are closing on the last eight kilometers of the stage, which will most likely end up in a mass sprint. Somebody's taking a tumble in the main bunch. And there goes the mad burst for the final sprint. Victory for Alexander Kristoff. This is one not surprising. As he is the strong sprinter in this race. And here are a few of the key moments. I don't think that can come in the sprint. Okay, here's the. I should have gone to the podium, sorry. I didn't think about that a bit. Yes, 20 points. I won it by 20 points. I got a green jersey. I am the greatest sprinter there is. Even though I didn't get a single stage with the best positions of third place. Wow. So, yeah. Alright. Like a better hill, so like a better time trial. Not a better sprinter, but a better at accelerating. Downhill. Fighting and resistance. Oh well. Next race is Denmark training. I'm really tired. I should turn down the training a lot. 21st, that's. Which first is the Welta. But I'm going to be mainly mostly a help or maybe get a stage win or something. But yeah, I need to get down on the um, number of, no, not number of races, but a lot of my fatigue, my tiredness, I need to t get my tiredness down. So, I will see you for Denmark. Plus, plus the Denmark Hunt. Thank you for watching so far, and I will see you for Denmark. Um, and we are back. We are back. I think. I hope. We are back for seven more minutes. That should be one stage. Right. Denmark Hunt. I'm still for. I'm still in the good fitness level after that thing in the French. <laughs> I'm done with the thing in the French. Yeah, I'm not a good sprinter. I forgot to look what my supposed role is, but seeing as I'm the strongest average rider on the team, I'd probably be either general classification captain or I'm a free roll. I'm not going to win the general classification. Anywho, anywho, anywho. Hello to one and all.
Today's terrain is fairly level, so it's ideal ground for those who are good on the flat. The weather conditions are excellent. I'm going to try to fight for the check this case. Highly doubt I'm doing it. I'm not a sprinter, I suck at time front, and I'm not too bad. That is why I'm very big here. So, yeah. Go. 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 Yeah, even just the um, fifty one number kept us on usually. It's a nice thing because it can have some success with our our team in the France. So far, no, it's not about it. But we get close to the end. We try to load the tanks and tank things. To a lot, uh, lot of small successes in the uh, atmosphere. That a little bit ahead in the photo. It's going to be way different than that. Yeah, it's a And he moves on to the attack. It could be decisive. And they're off. It's going to be very fast. Victory right on the line. A real show of power. And here are a few of the key moments. Right, uh, so if you're wondering why this has, looks a lot more different than it did, it's because I installed the PC and Daily version 1.0 in the base, and I haven't played around with it at all. But I know the I know the quality they put into that their databases each year, and trust me, it's probably the best one out there, at least at this point. But that's no guarantee. Excuse me, choking on my own words. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.